Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Lately I have been on this vintage collection kick. For some reason I have stumbled upon a lot of vintage makeup compacts from the 1930s all the way until the 1960s. Ranging from, you know, my film camera right here. Some are modern vintage um, collectibles that I have been accumulating, such as this radio and the mirror, but a lot of these other makeup compacts are original and true to its authenticity. So I wanted to share with you a few part series for my makeup collection. I think it's such a beautiful thing when you do receive them. So it's kind of like Christmas every time you receive them. So what I wanted to go over with today, other than these other vintage makeups, is this compact. And I found it on Mercari. I was very surprised at the condition of it because dating back from the 1950s, whoever had this before myself must have really taken care of it or may not have really used it which makes sense so here we have hello that's me a comb and for this comb it's so pretty because even the details along the side of the handle has like this crystallized pattern so i can imagine back in the day if you do have waves in your hair this would be convenient if you had any flyaways it also has the original powder and powder puff which I'll show you but let's check out this compartment it's a little hard to open but I'm assuming in this side you could possibly put cigarettes especially back in the day coins bobby pins um, if you wanted to put your rouge or other lipsticks I can imagine that would fit in this is my hand size so that's the part that I would assume. The original lipstick from this actually is still in here. So let me just put this down. And if you can see, it's so clean. It's like very, so much in mint condition. Um, I think it's cute because it just fits into that spot in the compact which is right here so I was surprised to see that there was still lipstick in here and to even know that this um, rotation still works so let me just it's a little tough but as you can see this is dating back from the 1950s it's pretty solid um, it's definitely not working Back in the day, I know lipstick was possibly more toxic than it is today, but check this out. Near my nail polish color, it's pretty similar. Let's see if I can focus this. Whoop. It's definitely not wanting to focus. Oh, there you go. But yeah, it's so pretty. It's such a cute lipstick. I wish I knew the name, but regardless it's still in here i definitely want to restore this um or maybe give it a little shine i feel like it's in pretty good condition though the color of this red is amazing i'll have to figure out what this black stuff is i'm new to collecting vintage makeup but i appreciate that it's still in here like it has so much history so much life it's beautiful it's a little tough to put down, but it still works. You can see this little latch here. So if I do pull it apart, I'm assuming this will have to do with the rotation. Let's close this. Put this aside. Now, for the fun part, this is a little tough. Oop. Okay, so I guess you pronounce this as Volupte, Volupte USA, and check this out, the original powder puff. It's in such good condition. 
Let's see. It looks like it's barely used. It's in such great condition. Like, this is so beautiful. Let's take this out. I'll have to put this, I don't want to put powder on my desk, but look at it. It has the separator screen part and it's original powder, I'm assuming. Like, look how clean that is. It's so beautiful. I feel like everything back in the day was so much more um, built with quality. Even like the stitching, the logo, the colors. Nothing like plastic ones today. This is brass, I believe. So I need to get a cleaner for it. Even the mirror, I, I feel like it has a little bit of tarnish, but I'll figure out a way to shine it again and then I'll update you, probably do a restoration um, video, but I love how it has the comb in it. It is just so perfect. This was the first vintage, like authentic compact that I got and I feel like I scored really well. Like, how cute is this? Imagine going out and you have this cute compact, like, everything you need in here no one had a phone so basically you'd have your money other lipstick cigarettes then you have your powder or your rouge that you would put in here like a little compact um, I have another rouge in here which I'll show you in another video but that would fit perfectly in here let's see so for instance if we were on it going on a night out that would well it doesn't close all the way but say we're going out, that would be so perfect, see? It's gorgeous. I'm so in love with this. I love the secret compartments. I think that's what amused me in the first place about vintage makeup, but what do you think? This is the part one for my makeup collection in the vintage era. Stay tuned for these. I will make videos of all my vintage makeup that I will be receiving. This one I feel like I'll do next. I don't even want to restore it. It's just so beautiful. This is the Rouge from Revlon. Look at that original logo. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next few videos. Bye. I also forgot to mention this woman in the background is my grandmother. This is a photo of her on her wedding day. I'm not sure when these were taken. Um, but she's very beautiful. She has passed. I think I got my taste in vintage and interest of all makeup from her. I love all things gold. She's someone who I admired, especially when it comes to beauty. She's very gorgeous. I miss her. But yeah, this is my grandma.